the locks were changed. It's like basically a big chunk of steak, honestly. Like I got so frustrated, I found out how to like sue her. Me we show you. Oh god. Hey what's up guys, this is Soy. Welcome back to my channel. This is another mukbang with Soy and I'm so bad after so that that is what it is. Today we're doing a little something special. I originally wanted to do a fried chicken mukbang, but the place that I wanted to go to was closed. So we ended up getting Brazilian food in LA called Pampas. There's one at the Grove and then one in Burbank. And they kind of serve like Brazilian barbecue, but if you're not familiar with Brazilian barbecue, you usually have to get it like all you can eat style. Like, um, is it Fago, the Chow, whatever it's called. You go there and then all this meat is there and then they cut it off and they give you. But this place is cool because they serve it in like cafeteria style where you can choose a meat and then they weigh it by the pound. The Pacana, Pacana, I think it's a sirloin cap. So that's some cabbage. I got some of the cold bar stuff, which are like vegetables cheese bread which is really popular in brazil mashed potatoes and some garlic noodles so we're gonna start eating today's mukbang topic is gonna be the time i got evicted kind of story time but also i just wanted to talk about like living situations in general let's, let's try this bread first i know the hype is always about this like bread from brazil so i'm gonna try it it's like cheese bread Ooh, interesting it's almost like um, a mochi consistency. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Very interesting. It does taste like the mochi. Mm. Kind of chewy cheese. I wonder what kind of cheese they use for this. I like it though, because it's not too cheesy. Also, I got these two sauces they have there. This is the malagata, is what he called it. It's like a spicy Brazilian red pepper sauce. And then the jalapeno one. Mmm, garlic pasta is good. Ooh, jalapeno is a little bit spicy but kind of sweet. And this one I'm scared of. Ooh, ooh, that one burns. Green bean tastes good. Also got some eggplant. Some mashies. Mostly because I like like variety of food. Like I don't like eating a lot of food, but I like eating like a lot of different or tasting a lot of different foods. Mmm, cabbage is so good. Okay. Oh, cold bow tie. And then got some broccoli. Oh, and then pro tip, when you go there and you, if you order to go, separate the cold stuff from the hot stuff. Because the hot stuff is usually like, I think like almost $12 per pound, but then the cold stuff is like $10. So if you were just mainly getting the cold stuff, like separate it. Panacana, pacana is like a soy loin cat meat. Mmm, that's good. And the good thing about um, this type of steak is like they kind of... What is it? Brazilian style barbecue. They have it on a giant like skewer stick and then they like rotate it. It's like basically a big chunk of steak, honestly. Mm. And on the outer pieces, there's a little bit of fat. So I'm gonna go in for that. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Oh. I love fat so much it's so bad for you but i don't know why it's bad for you but i just remember as a kid everyone says that eating the fat of the meat's bad for you but there's only a little bit so i'm just gonna indulge mm. i just like fat because it melts in your mouth back to today's topic the time i got evicted story time <laughs> it actually did happen so like ugh. It's not the current situation because obviously you guys might be thinking like So you know you watch them all the time, did you get evicted? No. I got evicted senior year of college in Florida. So just to give you guys a background of my living situation, I really had terrible... Actually, all my life, I feel like I don't really have like a so-called home because <laughs> I'm kind of like a nomad in general. But even growing up, we moved around a lot. We've had some very bad living situations when I was younger and I don't mind talking about it because it's something to be ashamed of if anything I'm like really proud that like 
I was able to get out of it and then my mom was able to get out of her situation but basically we like lived in like a trailer at one point like me my little brother Dan my brother Min it was like the three of us my mom and my dad and then we lived in a trailer in Florida for like a year maybe until we got our house that tells you that I really I'm not attached to homes so I, I usually travel a lot and do a lot of things and an example is like in college I got an internship in California, so going back to and forth from California to Florida, I still had like a semester left of rent. It was a nice like condo with me and my friend Peter, and I was really excited because it was like my own space, and then half of the year I was in college, and the other half I did the internship in California. I couldn't find someone to sublease my place, right, because it was like very last minute that I got my internship and I had to stay in California. If I pay the rent, it shouldn't matter, right? And I pay my rent on time all the time. If anything, I give checks ahead of time. Like, I would write out checks, you know, November 1st, 2018, December 1st, 2018. Like, all those checks progressively, and then send them to my landlord. In California, I was still paying rent in Florida. Which, I would have saved so much money if I didn't. Just because even in California, I was interning, so I wasn't making money. And then, then I was staying at my cousin's place. Which is also very annoying because I was sleeping on like, a toddler bed, but very grateful she let me stay at her place. Basically, months passed. I was talking to Peter, my roommate, and he was telling me how like, he had to leave early from the lease because um he was going to grad school or something like that. Oh, uh, okay, doesn't matter. At least it doesn't end until like May, right? So from January. Two men? Or like somewhere between that. So then, um, during that time period, I went back and forth, like, maybe twice. Mostly for school stuff. I'm going, like, a week before I moved out. Went to our apartment because I was like, okay, well, now I really have to move out because in uh, a week or so, I have to move out of this apartment and, you know, do whatever I have to do. So... I went back, you know, like literally from the airport, something like that, Some somewhere really early in the morning, late at night, went to the apartment, turned my keys, and I was like, wait, why doesn't it work? Uh, why doesn't it work? Uh, I was like really confused on why it didn't work. So then I was like, okay, this doesn't make sense. So then I texted Peter, who has already left the apartment because I, I, told, I told you because of a situation, he had to go back to St. Pete or whatever it was. And I was like, hey, Peter, what's going on? Like, I can't lock it. And he's like, oh, I don't know. That's weird. Like, everything was working just fine. Found out the locks were changed. Okay, that's really weird. Like, why would she change the lock? So then I ended up having to stay with a sorority sister just to sort out the things in the morning, right? So then morning comes and I called the landlord, Nancy. And I was like, hey, just wondering, like, um, why did you change the locks? Like, I've been paying rent. Like, I'm back to get my stuff. And she was like, oh, I thought you, like, thought the place was vacant. What do you mean vacant? She's like, oh yeah, like I like, I basically got movers to move everything out. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like I had a TV, I had personal belongings, I had girls' generation collectibles. And she's like, oh yeah, I didn't think anyone was living. I didn't think it was a big deal. And I was like, are you stupid? Like if movers come and they see things like TVs and shelves and a bed and stuff, like do you think that someone is not living there? And I've been paying rent every week. I mean, month. I got really frustrated. Like, I got so frustrated, I found out how to, like, sue her. And, like, put up all the stuff that, you know, I had left in the house, all the damages and stuff, and, you know, it went to mediation. And I feel kind of stupid because as a, as a young child, I don't, like, I didn't like authority, so I didn't want to, like, push it too much. But we went to mediation, saw her face. I hate her face. Because she was just like, I didn't think I did anything wrong. Like, no one was there. And I was like, bro. I paid rent. Like, you get a check every month that you deposit. How do you say that, like, you don't think you did anything wrong? And, you know, mediation isn't exactly right to court. It's, like, right before court. So if we hadn't agreed on, like, her paying me an amount of money, then it would have escalated to court, which I was scared of only because I was like, oh, like, what if I lose? And then I have to, I have to go back to California for my internship. So the back and forth was just already really annoying to me. So I was like, I just want to clear this up. So I, I barely got any money from her because she was just like, well, this is the only thing I can settle with. And I was like, 
okay on top of that you have to pay for my deposit but whatever um i've i just i just have like the worst luck living in places like so far i have to say that living by myself is the best situation because i've been in this apartment for like two years now three years now almost two and a half years and it's been great living by myself and the landlord has been like super nice here so like bless up you know maybe it's karma because i had to deal with the other bs But like, dude, that was one of the scariest situations of my life when I like, could you imagine if I didn't have friends in college? Like who would have I stayed with? Like I would have just literally been like homeless and she didn't even think about that. That's like really bad and not considerate at all. If you know what's in Brazilian cheese bread, please let me know in the comments. It's so freaking good. And then like my situations after with living with other people have always been like bad like i just never get a break dude like my apartment before i moved to this one i had like a random roommate that one day i came home and then like the landlord added a roommate like just spontaneously added a roommate and i was like okay cool the issue was that like our, our she was like really passive aggressive very passive aggressive um Honestly, I was barely at home. But every time I was at home, she would always want to hang out. And I was like, uh, like, I don't really know you. Like, you were just kind of placed here. Um, but I don't think she had a lot of friends or family in LA. Which is fine. Like, I don't mind hanging out with you once in a while. But, like, she, like, was really clingy. And I was just like, bro, this ain't it. Ace out. And that landlord was a nightmare too. She wouldn't give me back my deposit and I was just like. <sighs> so the best tip about living by yourself though is like in apartments that have like month to month leases um, after a year or so, just so you have the option to leave. Like right now my apartment is month to month. So at any point I can leave if I want a new apartment. Hmm. I can stay for as long as I want, you know? Um, because I think that's the best option. Just because life is so unpredictable. Like next year, what if I randomly want to move to New York? I wouldn't have the option because I'd be stuck in a lease, you know? Wow. I feel like this might be the first mukbang where like I eat a good amount of this food. Mm. The jalapeno sauce is growing on me. Spicy but sweet. That's me. Mmm. Give me like an outside piece. I don't like it as much. It's like too um overdone on the outside. Chimichurri sauce, also Brazilian, because I love chimichurri um, tri-tip too. It's like so delicious. I just like sauces in general though, like dippity dip. Pretty good. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, big thumbs up so we can do more videos like that. Leave a comment down below if you've had like terrible roommate situations like i have or have you ever been like kicked out of a place or like evicted ah uh, thank you so much like this video subscribe if you haven't already new video out tomorrow you know the drill love you always bye